Well, the price of consumer goods have been dropping a lot lately. Just about every kind of consumer good, except for food and fuel. Um, that is still pretty high, but oil prices are coming down. But let's look at consumer good prices, like goods prices, like um, electronics, because this channel is largely about electronics. So let's look at the price of a GeForce RTX 3070 on Newegg, my favorite site for buying graphics cards. You could buy a GeForce RTX 3070 for five hundred twenty-four dollars and ninety-nine cents, but you could buy cheaper ones. This is an open box for four forty-nine. That's pretty darn close to MSRP. I bought a GeForce RTX 3060 back in March for about five hundred and nineteen dollars and ninety-nine cents. $5 less than this, which is a much better graphics card, by the way. So the price of uh, GPUs definitely have come down. It's very close to MSRP. It's, it's uh, very affordable. See how much a 3060 is. You could buy a 3060 for about $389 to $409, which is pretty darn good, you know. I paid $519 for it, so it went down $110 from, from uh, March of 2022. Let's look at other components like CPUs and stuff. This is a CPU that I bought last year to uh, build a new computer for myself. And I paid $361 last year. This year is $289, which is considerably less, which is almost... Um, $70 less. Let's look at stuff like hard drives and stuff like that. $64. Bucks, that's, that's not bad. For a 4 terabyte hard drive. And as you can see, the prices have dropped. For other more um, expensive hard drives as well. One terabyte for ninety seven ninety three. Not bad. Regular price one hundred twenty four dollars ninety nine cents for Western Digital uh, NVMe SSD for a uh, one terabyte. That's a pretty good deal. Let's look at motherboards. Socket 1700 is the latest from Intel, I think for 12th generation CPUs. Even these dropped. 14 per, 7 to 14%. Not bad. This one as much as 25%. That's a Socket 1200, that's for 10th and 11th generation i7s. 
I, core i3, i5, i7, i9s, I guess. So, um, I mean, you hear all this talk about people talking about inflation and how inflation is going to eat us alive and all this stuff. Like, uh, talking about all this doom tartary. Well, the reason why the price of everything is going down is because the dollar index is very high right now. Let's check the dollar index from a year ago. Dollar index was, this was early part of this year. It was 96.21. Today it's 106. So it went up about 9.4% dollar index, which means we're seeing deflation and you could definitely get more for your money. Even for clothes, the prices, prices are dropping. So I guess if you have money and if you have a, pretty stable career if you want to whatever you want to buy you could buy it right now on sale probably um, it's gonna be like that for a while or you could wait a little bit and prices may drop even more perhaps people are talking about you should buy gold and silver and all this stuff I don't think gold is doing very good. Neither is silver. But platinum does look pretty interesting. $900 an ounce. Doesn't look like a bad buy at all. People were saying stuff about you should buy gold. Let's look at what gold was from one year ago. Around March 8th of 2022, gold was $2,045. And today, just about four months later, it has dropped about 15.4%. People touting about, you need to buy gold. Gold is going to save your life. All this talk about BS. Silver is going to save your life. I'm stocking silver. I'm a silver stacker. Silver is going to go to a million dollars or whatever BS. Let's see how high silver was. $26.62. And 62 cents. About four months ago. Silver went down 29.8%, which means you could buy more silver with the fiat dollars that you hold in your hands right now. You could buy, definitely buy more clothes. Old Navy. See what kind of clothes they got. Let's see if clothes are on sale. You're seeing sales here too in the Old Navy. 36 to 30. A lot of stuff on sale. $19.97 original 36. See? I guess the high gas prices are contributing to it and the food prices too. So um, when you have high food and gas prices, well, we all have to eat. We all have to pay utilities. And we all have to drive our cars to go to work and uh, go to the supermarket and visit family and friends and stuff like that, of course. 
we need to use energy. There's no way out of it. So since I live in um, L.A. County in California, and um, the last time I filled up a tank of gas was about roughly one and a half months ago. I don't really drive very much. I mostly work from home. And um, when I do go shopping, I just go... Um, I do about six to eight months worth of shopping on each trip. So I just buy a lot of stuff at one time. So that I reason that saves a lot of energy, even if gas prices weren't, even when gas prices weren't that high. Um, I just go to the supermarket, like somewhere like Costco or Sam's Club or Walmart or whatever. These places, I just go like, uh, once every about two times a year you know i don't go very often i just buy a lot at one time just buy staple stuff like rice um, some canned meats i also do order some fresh meats as well but mostly when i order stuff like that i just order it um uh, directly from the grocery store and they just bring it to me you know if i order stuff like meats but for staple stuff i just buy a lot of it and uh, i just store it somewhere store it in my storage area basically stuff that keeps for a long time like canned stuff uh, grains and stuff like that flour you know so i don't have to go very often definitely the less the fewer trips you make the more you save on on energy, of course. So people are aren't really buying the stuff that they don't need right now, because because they can't afford to. They have to uh, spend this money to go to work, of course. High gas prices. I think gas prices where I live is at least five dollars and ninety cents right now. Oil prices did go down a little bit. Price of oil. Right now it's about $96.26 per barrel of oil. And when it was like really high, I think it went up as high as $120 or something. One year, the highest was uh, about $123.70 around March or April. So it has come down quite a bit. The oil came down about 22.8% from its highs in around March so we're seeing deflation even here so I guess um, when people are buying less stuff then the, the demand for oil is reduced because less stuff have to be shipped less stuff have to be shipped from a ship from a cargo ship uh, less um, Fuel has to be used to produce the goods. Um, less since less stuff is being uh, bought or sold, um, less stuff is being manufactured. Less stuff is being transported, which means a reduction in fuel, basically. So we're seeing deflation in oil prices as well. I guess crops or agricultural goods. That would largely depend on the weather. Um, we've been seeing pretty bad weather um, for 
for a while. I guess you can't do anything about the weather, and if you have bad weather and there's crop failure and stuff like that, then the price of uh, food will go up, obviously. And we're having this war in the Ukraine and everything that's affecting uh, fertilizer prices, and I guess food from the Ukraine isn't being shipped out due to the war. And you have sanctions against Russia, which is like one of the largest uh, producers of uh, chemical fertilizers. It's a nitrogen-based fertilizer. It's the way they produce modern fertilizers with, um, they produce it with uh, natural gas. They use the Haber process. If you ever studied chemistry, you use, you use a Haber process to create uh, nitrate based fertilizers and nitrate based fertilizers can also be used to make high explosives and stuff like that but we're seeing shortage of fertilizer bad weather that's affecting the price of crops but the good side is if you have money in a stable career or whatever you could buy everything that's on sale because other people aren't able to get it which is good depending on your situation if you don't have a job or if your hours has been cut a lot and you don't have any savings and i guess uh you were in for some rough times because in a deflationary environment like this money becomes more valuable and when interest rates go up, there's less money in the economy. And when there's less money in the economy, then you have a recession, right? Debts get more difficult to pay off, and uh, you will see people getting laid off more because uh, companies aren't going to be able to keep people if they're not making profit. If they're selling less of something, then they're making less revenue. And if they're making less revenue, they're making less profit. So they're going to have to let people go or stop hiring new people. Or if it gets really bad, they, they will probably go out of business. So this is my two cents. Um, so good thing is consumer prices of non-essential goods are dropping a lot and i guess clothes can be put into the category of non-essential things well we do need to wear clothes but you could always wear last year's clothes or the year before that but you cannot survive without eating right nor can you survive without transportation or utilities, which also take energy to produce. So anyways, um, if you have any thoughts, you could leave it in the comment section below. And thanks for watching by Ace1000KS1975 signing out.